Hi there, and good morning to you. Here we are at La Paradou, but this morning we're going to take a trip about 20 minutes up the road to Espalion. It's a beautiful little uh, town and uh, has an old medieval bridge and a lovely little uh, stone chateau. So I'm going to have a go at doing an oil painting of this, quite a large one this morning. The sun's coming out now. I've prepared the ground with the blue ground and I'll take two cameras so that we can see right down close to how the brushwork is done and all the methods and techniques. I think I might also take a fishing rod with me and try for the barbel there too because there's some lovely barbel. So off we go then, let's get in the car and get all the stuff together and see what the day holds. Well this is rather a difficult decision this morning which of these two views to paint, this one here behind me now or the one from the other side of the river. The one from the other side of the river has more of these beautiful old buildings but this side has a much clearer view of the bridge. I don't have to think about this one. Well, I've certainly let myself in for something here. It's quite a complicated uh, composition I'm doing. Of course, it's going to be quite difficult to film as well because uh, I'm working this way and I have to have the canvas this side. So, to see what I can do with the camera in a moment. I'm going to start off on this blue canvas by drawing it out, just getting the composition worked out because it is very complicated. And then uh, working the colours as quickly as possible and try and catch the light in that. And then down below, ready, we have the paint. And now I laid out a full palette and a mixing palette next to it with some terps and just a couple of brushes, that's what I'm going to need for the moment. And those are my other spare paints ready in a little carrying case. Sun's coming out again, so I've got a chance to make a start here. Let's use a fairly big brush at the beginning. I've chosen to use just two flats at the moment, a half inch and a quarter. I have to stop and carry on tomorrow. Well, the light has dropped completely, so what to do but take out the fishing rod and do a bit of fishing and wait till tomorrow. I hope the weather changes and then we'll get back to it, because I do want just a particular light in this painting. We'll have a go for some barbel now while I wait. I to like luncheon meat, so we'll have a go with that. First we put the hook in and push it right up through the middle so it comes out the other side. Then give it a twist and turn it round. So, push it back in again. And that won't come off. There's only a fiddle of this one. So, it's just about three pounds this time. Yeah, getting better and bigger each time. Maybe better next time. Start with the sky again. The sky had a coat on before, um, but now uh, the sky had a coat before but we had to leave because of the cloud coming and now the sky is very different and a lot bluer, which is what we're after. So I'm going to really try and do an impressionist work here and get the feeling of the warmth of the summer sun. So I'm going to use some emerald green and a little cerulean start to give a, a broken effect in this sky of... We're going to place quite small strokes first up here and then we'll start placing the blue in on top of this. So we let the brush strokes do the work. We put on very small strokes throughout this and let the broken colour effects blend with the eye. Blue A bit lighter as that as it comes into the cream, here we go. Blend it in with some of that pink we have already, because that pink is there, even so today. We'll use more of that in a moment. And as we come higher up the painting, we will uh, make the blue stronger. 
Well, I'm painting this time. Patrick, my son, is uh, fishing behind me. He's going to do some drawing later as well. So I'm going to come down to this brush now. And uh, we'll look at the warmth of the colours here. First of all, let's just put in a little bit of the reflecting water down here of this light blue. Just to start establishing some of the sky colours we have coming down there. I think we'll use some Indian red there to start off with. With a little touch of yellow, of chrome yellow in a moment. We'll take a little bit of the um, ultramarine, just bring it back into this, and it will give us a brownie blue. And we'll just go along the top of that bridge there, adding some of that darker, warmer colour, indicating and giving an impression of the bridge. Not painting everything exactly. And that actually, that lovely cool dark colour is coming underneath the art of the bridge as well. And now we start to get some colour in the pot to paint by numbers almost. If we put the right colours in the right places, in the right shapes, then eventually this painting should come together like a jigsaw. So what I'm using now is some yellow ochre and white. See where these lines of buttresses are. So we're just sort of working on highlights at the moment. And we'll come back to that darker colour, the warm grey, and we'll put the bridge in behind. Just to indicate it. I have to come back to the colours on these buildings we're still working on here. As you see, a lot of work to do yet. So I just really need to get the blue canvas covered at the moment, just to establish these tones as quickly as I can. And down here we've got these lovely light now. I'm going to use the, the purple, but just pure white now with some purple. Just to brighten up some of these cool shadows down here coming into the tower up this side. Let's look now at some of the chimneys. Um, they're quite bright oranges and reds, so we'll uh, see if we can make that colour, shall we? Take some of the cadmium yellow and the cadmium orange. See how bright that is. A bit more of the yellow. Don't want it too vibrant. We'll just take it back a bit with a bit of white. There we go. Now, Let's have a look where that would be. And that chimney is just here. A bit more red into that and see how that shines out up there. Same with these, just little touches of where the chimneys are, just to give an indication. We're not putting exact dots and dashes in here, we're just indicating. Um, this building down here, this wall, has quite a few bits of cool colour coming into it, and reflecting from the water in the sky. Windows are here, tickling in some of these effects here for the darks on the bridge. You see these highlights now give us the darks and lights. Now let's look at some of these flowers and the green bushes in the background and see if we can get some of these stronger colours just flicked in to start to give us a play of those colours as well. We we'll take the reds at first. looking at these um, bushes and trees around here as well, in front. I'm losing the uh, look on white again. 